Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Despicable Me 4 set review. Today we are looking at set number 75581. This is the Minions Party Bus. This is going to be retailing for $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. And it is actually available in some places in Europe, but for the rest of the world this should be available beginning on May the 1st. This was sent to me early by Lego and Land to do a review for, and it's just got a bunch of really cool minions, and I think that the concept of this and some of the little references and different things inside here is exciting me. So let's go ahead. Let's open this set up. Here it is, all built, and yeah, I, I think the bus is actually a lot larger than I first thought, and there's a lot of different play features and ways that this opens that i wasn't expecting but yeah i still think this is pretty expensive but let's go ahead let's take a closer look so here's the bus on its own and of course it does drive smoothly which is nice and i think again the size of this is really great uh, the fact that it is eight studs wide i think is something that uh, is very impressive for this it does feel like sort of those high-end rental buses that you can rent and I, I like the sticker here on the front that says party on wheels and then you've also got down below avl the anti-villain league which is pretty cool on the front license plate and then also here on the back i also like how they did the lights there as well in the back and uh, just the different panels for looking uh, through and out of the bus is nice too you've got the lights there in the front which is very interesting those are actually just clear pieces but they've sort of got this yellowy effect the mirrors here on the side are nice too now to get inside there's a couple of different things you can do um i'm not sure why they have handle pieces here that makes me think that you grab from that but i guess you could sort of grab onto that to pop a wheelie but uh what you do is you just lift up here up on the top and then you can also open these side hinges and i'm going to talk about that first i think the idea here being that uh you can sort of get access to the turntables there and have one of the minions djing and sort of i guess you could pull up to a place like gru's house and have a party from you know out inside of the bus like blaring out this way i think that's kind of interesting but there is more play features i guess you actually can grab onto those hinges i'm just realizing now uh you can pull no it's gonna come apart but anyways one of the things that you can do for both sides of the bus but you just grab onto the the different sides is it opens up uh this is the maximum that it opens up uh outwards i guess if I, if I have to describe that but then i guess you could fold these as well making it a little bit bigger and then these top panels also are folding up too over here at the steering wheel, you can take one of the minions and have them driving the bus. There's really a lot of space up there in the front that is not being used. I think that's a bit of a shame, um, and I think maybe they could have made some sort of a seat, figured out a way to do that for the minions. But yeah, you could see this is where it actually attaches uh, to the turntable there. And underneath, there's this checkered pattern, which is nice with the pink and that uh, bright green. Over here, same exact thing. So there's also some slopes and uh, different pieces over there as well. You could see that gray piece there, that one by four plate. That's actually what's getting stuck here on the blue uh, flat tiles. That way it doesn't fold all the way back, but it does get stopped there. Now over here, there is a hot tub inside, which is cool. So you've got a little faucet in the corner as well as this ducky. You got a couple of bubbles there too. I think that's a fun inclusion. I didn't talk about the records there. You've got a G for Gru and then a Minion. And then also a couple of party lights there in the back. Over here on this side, uh, you've got a couple of different Minions, uh, I guess, on TV. You've got one with like a wig singing as well as another one with a bucket hat there with like a sort of tracksuit on. And then on the opposite side, uh, you've got, again, same thing. Speakers, pink lights, and then also... There you've got uh, one with a mohawk and a guitar and then another one DJing. So that's kind of fun. And just zooming out to show you what it looks like here from afar with uh, the top part open up. Yeah, this is actually quite a large playset if you think about it. And there's ample room for you to take a bunch of your minions and sort of 
put them around here and you could even put them of course in the hot tub like there's a lot going on here and there's room for you to store even some of the additional little accessories that we're going to look at here in a second um but before we do that I, I just need to show you one quick thing and that is that on the very top of course there's all these studs and in the instructions they actually have you place a couple of these accessories with the balloon as well as the flag sort of i guess decorating the bus from the outside and here are the accessories included you've got a stand that you could also attach one of the balloons or the flag to and you've got a lavender guitar a frog a mug and then also a little piano but this is probably the coolest thing included and this is uh this two by two sticker for a qr code and when you scan that it actually plays this short film stop motion thing that lego i i guess commissioned for them to make about the party bus I was thinking it might have been something else, but uh, yeah, I guess that's fun. Just showing you the minions partying on a, I guess, a larger scale version of the interior of the bus. So check it out if you want. I'll link it down below. Here is Mega Minion Gus. Uh, these are, I think, super powered minions that are appearing in the new movie. And uh, they're sort of wearing costumes. You could see around the mouth there and also just the arms and everything. They're dark yellow. Uh, this new headpiece is really interesting. It's got this molded in cape, which looks kind of cool. It's also double sided with uh, the yellow and the blue, which, yeah, that's a lot of fun. And just the pointy head there. You could see the eyes. I don't know why on some of the pictures they have him sad. So I thought I'd copy that. And you could see on the overalls there, it says M for Mega Minion there. And also he's got a little popsicle. Here is Mel. Uh, this is a fun little inclusion. I love the maracas uh, to party with, as well as you can see the overalls there say G, which is a, a good change up from the uh, other sets that we got for the Rise of Gru, which they didn't have that back then. You can see up at the top, the stud is included so that you can have uh, him wearing a baseball cap. But also there's just a little bit of printing on the top for some hair. Here is Dave. He's got a banana and a microphone there to sing some karaoke, I guess, on the bus. And uh, yeah, it's fun inclusion. I really like the little antenna piece from the Space Minifigure series being used here in Lavender. But uh, you can, of course, detach a little party hat there. And then up here at the top, he's got a bunch of stubble there on the head. Here is Phil. He's got this cup with uh, some sort of drink in it. And then also the antenna piece here in hot pink, which I really love that that piece is getting uh, three new colors starting on May the 1st already for a new piece. That's pretty great. You can see the top head printing there too. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Minions Music Party Bus. Uh, it's fine. I, I don't know if I would necessarily go out of my way to get this if it wasn't for these exclusive minions and, and different versions of them included in the set. The QR code thing, it's a fun inclusion, uh, just not too exciting for me personally, but maybe that'll interest kids. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I, I think that the size of this is very impressive. Just probably wait for this. I'm sure it'll go on sale. I think five, ten dollars off this thing would have been a little bit more feasible, but if you consider that these minions are minifigures too, there's a couple new pieces and recolors here and a bunch of new prints. So I don't know, I, maybe it is justified, but let me know your thoughts on this set down below. Be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future Lego Despicable Me set reviews. We will have the rest of them out here on the channel later today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.